Hello, welcome to the corner of the house where I'm allowed to keep my things. My name is Joe. Today I've got another Funko Pop mystery box. I haven't done one of these in a while. Kind of backed off the Funko thing uh, for the last little bit because I have too many and I can't sell them. But uh, this was, I think, the last uh, mystery box for Toy USA for this year, I think they said. So uh, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It was 50 bucks, I think $60 guaranteed value, uh, with the chance for some good hits. Um, I think the one that I was most excited about was Hulk Hogan, but uh, I doubt we're going to get that. <laughs> but maybe we'll get something good. Maybe we'll get something I like, or maybe we'll get something that's worth some dough. We shall see, but I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. All right. Little peek. There you go. Go ahead and pull the. There we go. And we've got one in a pop protector. Just in a pop protector. No hard shell. That's unfortunate. But let's see what I got. First one uh, without a pop protector. Oh, we got The Office's Jim Halpert. Uh, well, it's in good condition. I can say that. It's in good shape. Um, well, this was a damaged mystery box, by the way. There could be damaged in some of these pops. Uh, I think this is a new one. Uh, I believe I have... I think there's a chase. Uh <clears throat> Three hole punch gym, I, th I think. Um, I think there's that. That's what this is. But let's look it up, just to see. We'll look them up one at one by one. Eleven bucks. Uh, eleven dollar value. So there you go. I mean, it'll go in my collection because I love the office, but uh, not exactly a break in the bank or anything. Second one without a pop protector. Well, this is. It's uh, the child from the Mandalorian. Um, I don't like Star Wars. Uh, forgive me, please, but uh, I do not like Star Wars. Just don't. And um, this one will be for sale. By the way, you can go on the WhatNot app. You can download it on your phone. You could look me up at Cultural Disgrace. I'll put them at the bottom of the screen here. Um, and I've got a bunch of pops for sale, and this will be one of them, uh, if you're interested. I've also got a whole bunch of other ones, too, but, uh, nine whole dollars. So, so far, we got 11 and 9, and we got $20 in value out of the first two pops. Not looking great for this to be a good box, but, let's see, third one. Uh, there's four pops in here. I don't know if I said that, but this is the third one, the last one without a pop protector. Raya, 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 and the last dragon. That's what I see. Tuck, tuck. Well, that's a, that's kind of a cute pop. I mean, it's neat looking. Um, I've not seen this movie. Don't know who Tuck, tuck is. Uh... A little bit of a damage there. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about this one. It's kind of cute. Looks like uh, looks like uh, well, an armadillo and a, a back. I don't know if you can see the. I'm sure you can't, but it's like it looks like a armadillo shells on the back of him. He's like a ball with like a cute. I was gonna say lion, but he's got like tentacles coming out of his head. I have no idea what this thing is. Let's check its price. Thirteen dollars. So what have we got so far? We got uh, thirty-three bucks in value. So this last one's got to be worth twenty-seven bucks, something like that. Let's see what I got.
Spider-Man. Oh, well, that is a that's a cool that's a cool looking pop I've never seen before. Uh, I'm sure you can hear my beagle in the background. I apo I apologize. Um, One moment while I cut and go see what's going on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Beagle is uh, just playing with the other dog, just making a bunch of noise like they do. Uh, that's a cool looking pop from Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, Spider-Man Spidey Upside Down with his chemistry book. Oh, that was a great movie. Uh, really, really dig this movie. Um, let's see how much it's worth. Uh, I know it's not much, but... Um, let's just see. Let's just see what we're looking at here. If it will... It's not scanning. I think it might be the, the pop protector. This cheap-seeming pop protector. Oh, shape-wise... Um... It's okay. Uh, it might be near mint. Uh, it's got a, the, the window's a little dirty looking. Um, oh, we got a, li a little bit of a little bit of crease right there. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but there's a little, it's just a tiny crease right there. Um, oh, and the window's dented. Right there, I'm sure you can see that. Uh, not bad. I don't know if it's near mint or good, but um, it's not, it's not bad. Let's see. Oh, well, look at that trending value, fifty-five dollars. That ain't a bad hit. That that ain't a bad hit at all. Not bad. Um, I went to fifty dollars for the box. It was ten dollars for shipping, something like that. And fifty-five, thirty-three, eighty-eight dollars, eighty-eight dollars in value. Not bad. Um, if you're interested, this one will also be up on whatnot. Uh, probably uh, by the time you see this video, it'll probably be up. <laughs> I don't like to waste time, so. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a cool pop, but uh, I don't need to keep it. I, I don't need to keep it. Not not with that value. Uh, I don't collect Marvel, really, or, or Spider-Man. So mostly only collect uh, Dragon Ball Z and um, WWE at this point. So I've got a large collection that I need to, to, to uh, uh, needs to dwindle a bit. <laughs> it needs to get smaller. It, it can't get smaller if I keep keeping all the pops I get. So yeah, this one will go up. Uh, overall, I mean, uh, I love Toy USA boxes. They they don't, uh, they never get, they never do me wrong. Uh, they've never done me wrong. I've always, even the boxes that I get, uh, just um, you know, uh, guaranteed value with, like what I paid for it. Uh, I st I'm still usually happy with the box, and I've gotten some big hits off of Toy USA. So, um, you know, I I don't usually have a problem with taking a shot every once in a while uh, to see what I get. And um, it's not bad. I mean, if I can get some money out of that Spider-Man, it pays for almost the whole box. So that's that's something. But uh, that's it. That might be the only Funko Pop mystery box I do for a while. So uh, if you like watching my uh, uh, Funko Pop uh, mystery box openings, uh, they might be a, a little bit more uh, uh, rare uh in, in the near future, but um, I'll still be making them uh, here and there. Uh, I still like getting pop mystery boxes. It's, it's still really fun to open these things up. But uh, thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great day. Uh, and uh, if, if like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff YouTubers say, if, if you enjoy the content or if you'd like to support me. Um, and, uh, once again, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you back soon.